Show me in the Bible where I need to be a Christian. Wait, hold on. Let me hear that again. Show me in the Bible where I need to be a Christian. Show me in the Bible where Jesus was a Christian. Show me in the Bible where Peter, Paul, Matthew, Luke, and John were Christians. You can't show it to me because it does not exist. They were apostles, prophets, teachers, yep. evangelists, and pastors. Because anybody can be a pastor, because anyone can get up legally, no one can stop you. No, Nobody in the government can say, you cannot be a pastor. You can't open up shop. You can't have a house church. You can't have a storefront church. Matter of fact, you can't do a bang up job and grow a church and have a mega church. There's no one that says that you cannot. However, there are certain qualifications that are necessary to become a pastor or to be a pastor. Now, it's if you desire it. And so apparently he desires so. And also he is a male. So he fits a qualification. Now, I don't know about all the other qualifications that he may or may not meet. However, there is one that is glaring that he doesn't seem to be able to meet. And that is where he says that you must be able to teach. Now, this issue that he brings up comes up from time to time, but it should never come up with a pastor or a preacher. That is us being called a Christian. And now I do know that in, in Acts, it says that in Antioch, they were first called Christians. I'm not going to go to that passage. He says, show me in the Bible where we were called Christians. Well, let's go to a couple of passages since you want to show you in the Bible. Let's do so. In 1 Peter 4.16, remember Peter, who is a, an apostle, followed Christ. By the way, the term Christian just simply means a follower of Christ. The word Christian is literally in the Bible, not just one time, but three times. And look at how it's used. In 1 Peter 4, let's start in verse 15. Verse 15 says, make sure that none of you suffers as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or a troublesome meddler. Now, these are the negatives. But... There's this word but and bird, but is a, is a word of contrast. And even in the Greek, uh, day, which is the word but, it's post positive, gets flushed to the front. But if someone or anyone suffers as a Christian, but matter of fact, but, but if anyone, but if as a Christian, then he says not be ashamed. So Peter, the apostle Peter, is saying, do not be ashamed to be a Christian. Do not be ashamed. Now, don't be a murderer. Don't be a thief. Don't be a troublesome meddler. But suffer as a Christian. Be a Christian. Do, do not, if anyone is suffering as a Christian, but as a Christian, not be ashamed. As a Christian, let's put it back on the screen, but if as a Christian, not be ashamed. That's the point. As a matter of fact, the word that's for suffering uh, it's not actually there in the Bible. So, but as a Christian, don't be ashamed. So Peter's literally saying, don't be ashamed to be a Christian. So there's one where this person says, show me the Bible. Secondly, and I, I don't know who this person is. Maybe someone can get this message to them. Someone sent me this. And so maybe someone can look at this and say, hey, here's an example. But also, uh, let's talk about Paul because he mentions Paul as well. Paul is speaking with King Agrippa and he's giving King Agrippa the gospel. He's giving King Agrippa he is giving King Agrippa what he needs to hear. And what was Agrippa's response as to what Paul is trying to do? Agrippa said to Paul, he says, in a short time, you will persuade me to become a Christian. So Agrippa understands what he's trying to get him to do. You are trying to get me to become a Christian. What is Paul trying to do? Now, Paul did not say, no, I don't want you to become a Christian because that's what exactly what Paul wants him to do. He wants us all to be followers of Christ. As a matter of fact, Paul says, follow me or imitate me as I imitate or follow Christ. That's what the word means. The problem is we've got too many people who simply, maybe they overthink it. They've heard something here or there. Well, what you ought to do is go to the scriptures. And ironically, he literally kind of brings this up in his little, in his dialogue, in his, in his rant. But the problem is we don't get to know God. You know, we get to know that dang old Bible. And he's absolutely right. We do need to know that dang old Bible as he puts it. Now, listen. You don't have to be a smart Christian, kind of a play on word. You don't have to be a smart Christian, no pun intended, but you do have to be a Christian. Amen.